now 6.54 on your Friday. Let's take a look at the stories we're following as you head out the door. This morning, we begin with Way 31's Casey Albritton. The search for suspects involved in a deadly shooting in Limestone County resumes this morning. Right now, we know a 70-year-old, 74-year-old man was shot and killed during a shooting on Ardmore Avenue last night. And now, uh, Limestone County Sheriff's Office will be heading back out this morning to continue the investigation. Will. All right, thank you, Casey. On Tuesday, the Madison County Sheriff's Office said a 72-year-old woman was shot and killed off Elkwood Section Road in Ardmore. Deputies have arrested two suspects. They're still looking for two more. Investigators are looking for anyone with information on Kaleeb Holden, 18-year-old Adrian Lopez, and 20-year-old Quentin Courtney. Rodnia. In less than 12 hours, celebrations for the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing will kick off in downtown Huntsville. The Lunar Rover Walk will start at 5, leaving from the Von Brown Center. The parade will head south on Monroe Street from the Von Brown Center, east on Williams Avenue, north on Madison Street, over to the square. Once the parade reaches the square, a beach ball drop will kick off dancing in the streets. The roads will reopen as the parade passes by. Alyssa? Happening today, a post-launch celebration will be held in downtown Huntsville. The official Dancing of the Street party may come to an end at 9 o'clock tonight, but feel free to continue the fun on the Big Spring Terrace. The post-launch celebration is from 9 o'clock until 11 tonight. Tomorrow, everyone is invited to attend the University of Alabama in Huntsville's firework display. The fireworks will celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. The show begins at 8.30 at night, and everyone is welcome to attend. Way 31 is paying tribute to the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing and will be live for a special look back on Apollo 11, the moments leading up to its launch and its big connection to Huntsville, as well as looking toward the future. Our special kicks off at 630 tonight. Rob? And no major issues right now on the Way 31 real-time traffic alert. Uh, definitely be careful if you're traveling through areas of Lauderdale County, closer to Lawrence, and Limestone County, where we saw quite a bit of heavy rainfall last night and, of course, over the last few days. So definitely concerned about some still some high water. Feels like temperatures for today. We're back up above 100 degrees. Actual air temperatures closer to the low to mid-90s, but when you combine it with the humidity, it's going to feel like the triple digits. And there's your forecast today heading into this weekend. Today, bringing the lowest chances for showers and thunderstorms, but there is still that chance and better chances by Saturday and Sunday. Thankfully, drier and cooler weather arrives heading into next week. All right, thanks so much, Rob, and thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, for 24-7 coverage you can count on, head online to waytv.com. We'll see you right back here for a news update at 723. Have a good morning.